I am Julia and this is my home, Alba. After living in Copenhagen for four years, I decided that it was time for a change. I bought a sailboat and moved on it. Now I am sailing from La Spezia to Sicily. Subscribe to the channel and welcome aboard. Good morning, friends. It's 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's very early and we are ready to leave from La Spezia and sail south towards the Piombino Channel. And then we will decide whether to stop at a port on the Italian coast or uh, on the Elba island. While everything was still dark, we left the port in absolute silence, first leaving behind the safety given by the land, and then all the small lights of the coast, hoping for a kind and welcoming embrace from the immense blue. The tension that accompanies the departure for a crossing at night melts down into the faith in the fact that the sun will rise again on this day, and that this is just the beginning of a new great adventure. As soon as we left from La Spezia, we hoisted the sails and switched off the engine, so that we could sail only with the force of the wind. This requires particular attention to sudden changes in wind direction and intensity, and the ability to adjust the sails accordingly. As well as maintaining the course, we also need to monitor the weather conditions and forecasts, either on the internet, when available, or by radio. Hi friends, we are sailing from La Spezia towards um, the Piombino Channel and the Elba Island and then we will decide where we will stop. Um, this morning we left La Spezia at 5 o'clock, we woke up very very early and for the first 2-3 hours it was pretty cold um, and humid so yeah we had to wear very heavy clothes and that wasn't even enough but it was fine in the end we could face it and after a bit I made a hot cup of coffee for everyone and then we watched the beautiful sunrise so uh, we were very happy even though we were a little bit cold um, yeah after the sunrise we put down the fishing line and uh, after a little bit we caught the first fish and then while we were taking care of the first fish we caught the second one so we had we have quite a lot of fish for lunch it's never enough because we actually eat a lot of fish we clean the fish and then i put it in the freezer so that maybe we can um, eat a little bit of it um, raw other than that we have listened to the vhf radio to make sure that there wasn't any emergency any sudden uh, weather change um, everything is uh, fine. We managed to sail only with the sails and without the motor for quite a while and we were sailing 6.67 uh, knots uh, which was very good considering that we had no motor on and the wind is not very strong. It's only between 6 and 8 knots uh, so yeah that's pretty good. We have just turned on the motor again because um, the wind speed was decreasing a bit and we need to keep a quite high speed so that we can reach our destination before sunset. We're very very happy and the boat is performing very well and we're super thrilled for the rest of the day.
We are sailing nice and fast and everything is amazing. I was outside and I fell asleep and I got quite a lot of sun in my face and then uh, it was my dad's turn to rest a bit and I was on shift. Um, so I had to check that everything was okay with our curse, with the speed and that we were not approaching any ships or boats. And of course that the sails were nicely adjusted to our course. Everything is good, now it's 4.30 in the afternoon, we just had a cup of coffee. Um, we are doing shifts, uh, very short shifts, since we are four people on the boat. Uh, it is not too heavy and uh, the conditions are really, really good. Now I'm gonna work on my computer for one hour or so. I want to edit some YouTube videos for you guys so that I can update you on my big adventure. Um, and then I will start cooking dinner because we want to eat dinner at 7 o'clock. Um, after 7, around 8, we will approach some dangerous waters uh, uh, and uh, at that point we want to be done with eating and we want to be fully focused on sailing. Um, oh, I have to update you on the fishing situation because we actually got a third fish, so we ate the first two for lunch and we will have the third one baked in the oven for dinner, so that's gonna be very good. Um, yeah, everything is fine and I really, really love this boat, I'm so, so happy with it.
After a full day of sailing, we arrived in Porto Duro in the dark. Knowing the bay very well, we were able to put down the anchor and then enjoy some well-deserved rest. But stay aboard next week, when we will sail to the Argentario and we'll discover together how fast this boat is when sailing only under sail.